Hey everybody, welcome back to Plugin Tut, your home for handcrafted WordPress plugin tutorials. And as always, I'm your host, Matt. And as always, if you enjoy WordPress tutorials like this, go ahead and hit subscribe. We are just over 800 subscribers on this channel. I started back in September. Um, so I'd love to get to a thousand by the end of January. I appreciate everybody's support uh, that subscribes and leaves comments on, uh, on the tutorial. So thanks for making it happen. Uh, we're gonna talk today about one of my more popular uh, tutorials on the channel, which was the 2017 theme and setting that all up. I'm not going to set up step by step in this video. So if you want to learn how to set up 2017, if this is your first time looking at this theme, go ahead and watch that video. I'm going to link it up right here. Today, we're going to take a look at some more advanced features of 2017. No pun intended. There's this new plugin out called Advanced 2017. Uh, again, very new. Obviously, the release of 2017 is with the release of WordPress 4.7, which recently rolled out. This plugin only has 60 active installs. It's the first plugin from this plugin author that I've seen. So I don't know where the, um, you know, where, where it's going to go and, and how the support is going to be and all that fun stuff uh, and what other features might come in the future. I'm sure there'll probably be some paid features, I'd imagine, knowing this uh, crazy world we live in. And, um, but it's going to add a lot of customization options to 2017 that you don't have control over now. Let's take a look at that. I've already got it installed and active on my... Uh, on my example site. So I just have this basic homepage set up and these are the sections here. So if we go to the theme options, um, first and foremost, it takes that homepage and it adds in uh, that homepage content when you set up 2017. And then you drop in these, you identify these other pages like this about page, we'll put it in this section. Example two page, we'll put it in this section. And then this is the featured image for that page, right? So it makes this nice scrolling effect. And again, go and watch the other video to see more details on that. But what it's going to add is going to add these global settings, right? It's going to add settings for the header, for the footer. Um, but it's going to, you're going to be able to do some pretty dramatic things with, uh, let's say, the layout. So, for example, the, the design of the site is uh, full width, edge to edge, big dramatic images. But you can actually switch it to a box layout if you wanted to with this plugin. So I went nice. I... Uh, just set it to boxed. Now, one thing you do have to do is go, it, and it tells you right here, to use this option properly, please go to Customizer, Header Media, and click on Hide Image, or Hide Image of Header Image, right? So we're gonna go ahead and do that. We're gonna go to Header Media, and I'm gonna hide the image there. Okay, I'm gonna save and publish that, and then I'm gonna go back to Advanced Global, because now what we can do is we can set these background images, we can set colors in a boxed layout, right? So let's go ahead and select a background for that. I'm gonna select this one, choose the file. That'll go ahead and refresh and update. And you can see that it's adding that image um, in the back end, but it doesn't look proper, right? It's just up in the left-hand corner. That's okay, because now you just come and you say, well, what do you wanna do? Do you wanna repeat it? Um, do you want to uh, you know, set it to center, center top, that kind of thing? So let's go ahead and do repeat and that'll go ahead and repeat that image in the background. So if you're building this kind of background image, you can do that. If you wanted to use colors, and I'm not gonna go through all of this stuff, but if you wanna change the text color of the entire site, you could do that. So let's go ahead and switch it to red and see how obnoxious that looks. But you can see that it's changing the colors uh, of all of the content in uh, throughout the site, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit save and publish. So the general option of this advanced 2017 plugin allows you to go from boxed, uh, from full width to box, and allows you to really uh, fine tune the style, the look and feel of your content. Pretty amazing stuff. Let's go ahead and take a look at the header. You're going to get the same sort of options here. If we go into the site branding, we can do a line center. So right now, um, my site title is white, so it's kind of hard to see. So let's go ahead and change that color. Again, these are all options that are only in this plugin, so I changed it to black uh, or a darker color there, and then I can center that. So if you were wondering, gee, how do I center my, my site title on 2017 or a logo, that kind of thing, it's that easy. And then you get all of these options to change um, fonts, font sizes, letter spacing, text transformation. I mean, it's pretty powerful stuff. I'm not going to go through all of them here, but you can just see from all of these options, um, we can do a lot with the advanced 2017 plugin. Um, and for the menu section, again, same thing. You can add borders, you can change the font colors. It's pretty darn powerful. So this video is just gonna be much more of an overview. I'm not gonna go through uh, line by line. And again, same thing in the footer. If you wanna do a custom copyright and you wanna remove the Powered by WordPress, which, you know, hey, sometimes we wanna do that. Matt's website, 2017. It should work, there it is. It removes the, uh, 
the copyright section there that's uh, sort of built into the theme. And then again, you have all, you, more of the same features, right? So or the customizations, background colors, font sizes, font families, all of that fun stuff. You can do it all with this plugin. It's pretty powerful stuff. It's the Advanced 2017 plugin. Again, you're going to take the 2017 default theme uh, to a whole new level with this kind of plugin and customizations. Really hope you enjoy it. If you're using it now or using something else, let me know in the comments below. So Advanced 2017 is PluginTut.com, YouTube.com slash PluginTut. Hope you enjoy these videos. Go ahead and thumbs up and share it with friends and family. Helps us get found. We'll see you in the next video.